Ah, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to Fetch Productions. Today I will be talking about how to become an airsoft YouTuber. Let's roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, like I said, I will be talking about how to become an airsoft YouTuber. So I know a lot of people have messaged me, you know, tips and, you know, tricks on becoming a better, bigger YouTuber, you know, how to grow your YouTube channel. I know a lot of people have messaged me that in the past, like, few months, and I just wanted to make a video for you guys um, just explaining how I grew my channel to over 6K subscribers now. Um, thanks for 6K, everybody. But, yeah, um... So make sure you watch to the end for some awesome tips. So let's get started, boys. Number one, you have to be ready for the, um, what would you call that? The strive. I figured out down the road that I had to like pick one topic and stick with it, and that was that ended up being airsoft. And so becoming an airsoft YouTuber, I mean, I just, one day I just said to myself, you know, like, I have to make videos for these subscribers every week. I mean, because that's ultimately how you're going to gain subscribers and gain views. You have to keep posting, you know, you have to keep that grind going. Okay, so you have to post for your subscribers. You know, your subscribers have subscribed to your channel because they think that they will like your channel, <laughs> pretty much. So, you have to keep them entertained, and if you keep them entertained, the more they'll like your videos... And the more that they like their vid your videos, the more your videos will go viral, actually. That's actually a fact. Look it up on YouTube. Um, the more likes you get, the more YouTube recommends your content. So, and another tip is don't... I hate when people do this. Um, they go on their family's accounts on YouTube and just subscribe to the channel. I mean, that gets you subscribe. I mean, that doesn't even get you subscribers. Like, that gets you, like, the number of subscribers but like they're not viewing your channel like if you just subscribe to your channel on their phone without them knowing they're not going to just view your content right away I mean yeah you're going to have that number of subscribers but you're not going to get the views and what's the point of having subscribers when you're not going to get the views okay so you got to make people want to subscribe to your channel instead of just forcing them to okay so honestly I made that same mistake I mean I used to I used to go on my family's accounts and subscribe to my channel when I was like really low in the rankings just because I, f I felt better after seeing that subscriber count going up. But that didn't bring my views up at all. So, I mean, like I said, like a year ago, where actually, you know, it was the beginning of this year, I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna commit to this, you know, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make videos so that actual people subscribe to my channel and so I started making videos I started looking up you know like I said I decided to stick with airsoft um, so I started looking up topics of airsoft that people search for the most and so I, I saw rage compilations and rage compilations was honestly one of my th those videos were honestly the biggest change in my channel I mean some of you that are watching this are watching this because you saw that video and you subscribed to my channel Thank you for su subscribing. Um, yeah, that channel went viral, and my subscribers just went way up. And I was I was realizing, you know, like, man, I'm getting subscribers now. So like, keep doing videos that people search for. And so I, I kept searching for, you know, the biggest. I, I went on YouTube, and I kept kept going on YouTube and searching up what people searched up for airsoft, pretty much. And so. Without, whether that was rage compilations, whether I was like airsoft gameplays, you know, um, whatever they were, I made those videos, you know, tips and tricks. I mean, I know I'm working on a stereotypes video right now, um, you know, all those topics, you know, I just made those videos because I know that people searched for those videos, and so I made those videos so that when people search for those topics, they would see my video, click on that video. If they like the video, they subscribe to my channel. 
boom, it gets more subscribers. That's, that's how it works. And like I said before, you know, you got to keep that grind up. You can't stop, you know. I, I know it takes forever to get up to your first 100 subscribers. I mean, believe me, it took me like two years, okay, to get like, it took me two years in order for me to get reached out to other people, um, to, for other people to notice me, actually, instead of just my friends um, on YouTube. <laughs> so, you know, you can't give up. That's for sure. I mean, if you if you want to become an airsoft YouTuber, it's hard because I know airsoft is not the the best topic people. I mean, talk about. I mean, a lot of people don't even know about it. But if, you know, if it's what you want to do, you know, just pursue it. You know, I mean, I know you, you see a bunch of those big YouTubers like Novich, Silo Entertainment, um, Dutch the Hooligan. You know, all those guys. You know, they grinded. You know, like they kept it. They kept going, and eventually they just hit this point where their channel just went off and they just started to gain a bunch of subscribers okay that will happen to you eventually you just gotta keep that mindset you know and it will happen you know you just gotta make videos that people are into you know make videos that people will search for so so that's that's a tip it's a trick kind of um, but also becoming an airsoft youtuber you gotta you gotta realize that you know it's gonna take a lot of your time um, so you gotta have the time to do this stuff I know for me I have to work six days a week and so that's kind of hard for me to get outside you know like right now it's like 7 p.m. Um, this is the time I have to make videos and so I do it uh, but you're gonna have to make time for that and you're gonna have to commit to it you know because once you start gaining those subscribers those subscribers will not go away unless you force them to go away how would you do that you just earn them so once you get those subscribers you have to keep making videos for them so just know that YouTube is a commitment okay so be ready for that um, another tip is you gotta make good thumbnails and you gotta make good video names like you can't just go ahead and say oh airsoft game in the woods um, 2v2 you know, like people don't search for that. You gotta like, you gotta mix a little of good stuff in there. You know, like kid got shot in the balls with 500 F FPS umbrella armory gun. Made no sense. But you gotta, you gotta mix it up. You gotta spice it up a little bit so people want to click on that video. Okay, so in your thumbnail, you know, it has to be legit. You can't just put a picture of that game as your thumbnail. I mean, people, I mean. They just don't look for that. They don't click on that because they're like, that's a waste of my time because that kid looks like a small channel, you know? Like, honestly, for me, I go off of, like, Dutch the Hooligan's thumbnails. I, I like, he's my, like, mentor. Like, I, I look up to his, th his thumbnails. I mean, they're good thumbnails, and so I go off of them. And I don't copy them because that'd be bad of me. That'd be wrong of me. But I get ideas off of him. I got, I got get a bunch of ideas off of different airsoft youtubers okay so that's what you gotta do you know you gotta you gotta do your research you know you gotta look at thumbnails that have a lot of you know thumbnails of videos that have a lot of views because if they have a lot of views that means the thumbnail is good because people clicked on that thumbnail because they thought it looked like a video that they wanted to watch so your thumbnail has to be pretty dang good okay so that's another tip What's another tip? Oh yeah, interact with your viewers. So, interaction is a big key part of being an airsoft YouTuber. Um, whether it's just making community posts, you know, I, I know I do community posts about like just airsoft games. You know, like I I have people vote on what videos they want to see next. You know. I do that because that's interaction with my viewers and I, I want to see their side of things I want to see what they're seeing what they're thinking about my channel okay and so but yeah interact with your subscribers okay you don't want them to shy away from your channel you know you want them to stay in your channel okay so you also want to like look into getting like an Instagram to promote your channel I know that I have one f.e.g underscore productions I will leave the link in the bio so you guys can go check it out for yourselves but um, yeah I mean make an Instagram 
to interact with your subscribers. Um, that has really actually helped me a whole bunch. Um, that's you know that's where I post updates on the channel. And that's where I like post my photos of gameplays that I've had earlier that day, and just some funny, funny posts. You know, go check it out. I mean, but you know if you want to become an airsoft YouTuber, that's something to look into because that is something that plays a huge part in gaining gaining subscribers. So I would highly recommend getting an Instagram to promote your channel. So. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I will see you all hopefully next Friday. I'll have a video out. Um, whether it be a gameplay video at Poco Loco or montage or stereotypes video. You gotta, you gotta stay tuned to the channel. Check that out. Um, but I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Peace out.